make a lecture on the topic of the basis risk. So this lecture will be a quite useful for you people that how we treat this basis risk. Guys, you know that for this basis risk, we have to account for this in the currency questions. as well as in the interest rate questions. Now, what you people have learned, in the case of the currency, we always solve the questions with the help of the lock-in rate. And you know, the lock-in rate formula, which we learned in our last class, lock-in rate was equal to opening future plus minus remaining basis. And this remaining basis was having a formula opening spot minus opening future. This we have solved in the questions of the currency. We solved the question like the last question from Gauch company and the same criteria we opted for. But what happens? This interest rate questions, we do not solve them with the lock-in rate. Interest rate question, we have to calculate the closing future price in the interest rate questions. What we have to do, we have to compute the closing future price. And this closing future price formula is closing spot plus minus remaining basis. Now, the remaining basis formula that is the opening spot minus opening future. But there was one differentiating point between the remaining basis. That was when we are computing the lock-in rate. So this remaining basis, we add or less in the opposite direction. But in the case of the closing future price for the interest rate, we follow the same direction. This is the old concept which we are revising. But like we did a question, named as Frongoch company yesterday. What was happening in that question? 
examiner provided you people a scenario one and the scenario two and we had to apply that scenario on the forward futures and the options but before we move on further what happens when we are solving the question in the currency and we are using the lock-in rate we do not perform the calculation of gain or loss calculation of gain or loss not but when we are performing the question of the interest rate and we are solving with the closing future price so here we had to compute the gain as well for this and this gain is the difference the gain or loss is the difference in the question you will compare the opening future price with that of the closing future price and then there will be a gain or loss this is all the previous criteria the previous which we have used up to so far there is nothing new in this discussion and what will happen in the case of the interest rate we also compute the effective rate so for interest rate we have another calculation that is what we do try to understand guys for the calculation of effective rate examiner has given you you will take in the case of interest rate questions we take our actual payment of interest or receipts of interest the formula is if it is a payment closing spot plus spread and if it is a receipt closing spot minus spread and then we take this gain or loss this is let's assume x this is let's assume x so this rate is known as the effective rate but now what happens when examiner issued an article and examiner also tested the question named as from gauch company so now there was another method by which the examiner was checking you people what is that try to understand guys if there is this is risk now examiner assess you examiner
will give you closing future at maturity of your transaction And we have to assess whether there is basis risk or not. This is the important point. Like in the case of the Frongoch company, which we solved yesterday. What was happening? Examiner had given you an other scenario as well. The scenario one and two, where examiner provided you the closing future price as well in the scenario 1 and the scenario 2. Why? Because examiner was saying to you people that you have to assess whether there is a basis risk present or not. So now, what can be done? What is the requirement of the question can be set by the examiner? Try to understand. We are talking about currency. Now, in the question of the currency, we normally know that we solve the question with the lock-in rate. But, if examiner has given you the closing future price in the question, then what will happen, guys? Then what will be the scenario now? You will have the opening future price. You will compare this price with the closing future price. Normally, in the currency question, we do not do that. We always solve the question with the lock-in rate. And that's it. But when examiner has given you people the closing future price in that question, so now examiner is checking you people that you people have to tell the examiner whether there is a basis risk present in the question or not. So how we will compute that, guys? You will compare the opening future price with the closing future price. There will be a gain or loss. And then you will compute your effective rate. And effective rate will be equal to closing spot plus minus gain or loss. Now, try to understand. If your effective rate is equal to that of the lock-in rate which you have computed, like in the case of the Frongoch company, if they both are equal, then there is no basis. And if it is 
vice versa. If there is a difference between the lock-in rate calculations and the effective rate calculations, then there is a basis. This is about the currency risk questions. In the same way, examiner can ask you about the interest rate risk question as well. Again, in the interest rate, one rate is the effective rate which we compute in our normal way. Like we have the opening future price, the closing future price, we compare, we calculate the gain. Now, what will happen again if again examiner has provided you people such a scenario that examiner wants you people that you had to tell the examiner whether the basis risk is present or not so what we will do guys effective rate will be compared with the death of the calculations performed by us. And now how that will be computed guys? Effective rate is equal to closing spot plus minus gain or loss. So if they both are equal, there is no basis. And if they both are not equal, then there is a basis. Now, if I recap your overall concept again, try to understand everyone. Again, I am recapping. We are discussing the basis risk. We know that while we solve the currency question, we solve the question with the lock-in rate. And when we are solving the interest rate question, we solve the question with the closing future price. That is the old phenomena which we have already learned. But nowadays, what happens? Examiner also provides you people the closing future price for the currency question as well. Why? Because examiner wants you people to assess whether the basis risk is actually present or not. So how you will do that when examiner has given you people the closing future price for the currency question. You will compare the opening price with the closing future price. There is a gain or loss. And then closing spot plus or minus this gain or loss. If this effective rate equals to the lock-in rate, there is no basis risk. If this is not equal, then there is a basis risk. And the same phenomena we will apply for the interest rate management. The effective rate which we have computed in the first slide, that will be compared with this rate. If there's a difference, then there will be a basis, otherwise no. So now let's try to apply this concept on that question which we solved uh, yesterday so that a more, uh, you can say that uh, more good picture will be in front of you. Just let me open the slides. See guys now, this is the question which we solved in our last class. Now see what is going to happen in the 
yesterday class we said that this is our opening future price and when you have been provided the scenario one so this was the closing future price i told you people that if you have to compute the gain what you will do guys you will compare these prices you will compare these prices. See now what is happening. Opening price is 1.1560. So opening price 1.1560. And what is the closing guys? 1.1552. And here we were buying. And here we are selling. So guys, this is a gain or loss. Tell me. You are buying at 1.156 and you are selling at a lower price. So this is a gain or loss. Tell. This is a loss. How much loss? Compare. 1.1560 minus 1.1552. 0 0.0008. And now examiner also told you people the spot. So I told you people that the effective rate will be spot 1.1534 as add this, this is a loss 0 0.0008. What will be your overall? Tell me guys, what is the overall? One point one five four two. Now, when you will reopen the question, the recording which had been shared by me, so you people will see the lock in rate was same of this rate. The lock in rate which we were applying for this part when we solve this currency futures with the lock in rate. So our lock-in rate was also coming 1.1542. So now you can see our lock-in rate and this effective rate, they both are coming equal. So that's why we were saying that there is no basis risk when we are solving the scenario 1. But when we were solving the scenario 2, what was happening guys now see if you have to solve the scenario 2 in the scenario 2 opening price that will be remaining same 1.1560 this was the opening price now the closing price has been 1.1563 so how much is the gain now 0. This is the gain. And what is the support now? 1.1549. And this is the gain. So let's say 0 0.0003. So what is the net result? What is the net? One point one five four six
but our lock in rate was 1.1542 so there is a difference and due to this difference we were saying that in the second part there is a basis risk because our lock in rate and the effective rate they both are not equal so see the same calculations have been performed by the examiner as well see now the results of the future head would be different from a in the scenario 2 the expected gap between the spot rate and the future would be 14 basis and how this is coming see now what was this 1.1549 what is this guys this is your opening future price this is your closing future price tell me in the scenario 2 what was the what is this 1.1563 can anyone tell me this was the price given to you people 1.1563 and what was the opening future price 1.1560 so see how the examiner is explaining this was your opening price this was your closing price and this was the spot rate. So if we net of them, our final answer is this one, 1 1.1546. And our lock in rate, which we computed above, that was how much? 1.1542. And our scenario 2, that is coming as 1.1546. So 1.1546 minus 1.1542. What is the difference? How much is the difference? Take the difference. Zero point so zero point triple zero four. So guys, this was the difference that why you people are having the difference because of the basis. See, this would make the hedge less effective by four basis point. In the second scenario, when your lock in rate and the rate calculated by the scenario given they are not equal, you will face the basis. And when they both are equal, there is no basis. And this closing future price will be given to you people just to check by the examiner that whether you people know that basis occurs or not. That's it.